Ai Weiwei's release、um, from prison just recently does signal something important. I think it, it's a positive move because here we have a very high-profile case. In fact, probably the most high-profile case of an artistic or creative figure being imprisoned for various reasons.、Um, I think that it signals perhaps. Uh, the government's、uh, desire to appease、uh, international、uh, cries for his release.、Um, it may even signal the fact that、uh, there's a recognition that it's important for there to be creative, independent voices in China.、Um, I think the future and how it and. And really, what it means for Ai Weiwei is still yet to be determined. I think that there have been reports that he he really isn't meant to be speaking to the media. But I think, as a central figure to the art community in China, there is no doubt that he must continue to do artwork. It's how much he's able to comment on the political situation that、uh, remains to be seen. There have been reports over the past six months to a year of various figures who have been outspoken、uh, critics of the government of being imprisoned, and certainly many of them remain in prison.、Um, so we we don't yet know what the full situation is in China. But、um, having said that,、uh, one of the reasons that Ai Weiwei was arrested, I think. Is because of his political comments or his criticisms of the government. I don't think it was necessarily his artwork, since his artwork、uh, often is apolitical and doesn't relate at all to、um, kind of political commentaries or situations. The exhibition captures life in New York City for ten years, from 1983 to 1993. Through the eyes of Ai Weiwei, bearing in mind he had just come from an important moment in China when China had just opened up in 1979, and he had shown his work as part of the Stars Group, the very first avant-garde art group in Beijing, and so he came to New York with certain hopes and dreams. I think, like all、uh, immigrants, and he really saw New York with fresh eyes. And I think that that's what the exhibition allows us to see:、uh, life in New York through a Chinese artist. But he, he, it was hard times for him as well, wasn't it?、He、yes. Was struggling. I mean, he was literally a starving artist. Yeah. It would be true to say that nearly all of the Chinese artists who came to New York City at this time came with nothing, like a lot of、uh, immigrants. They came with nothing. They did what they could. Ai Weiwei himself. Uh, painted people's portraits on the street, like many other artists who arrived. They really pieced things together. But I think that what is curious is that how their life has changed so much. That really they all started from nothing, and now they have become these big international stars. Well, we began our discussion with Ai Weiwei over a year ago、uh, about exhibiting these photographs that had really just come to light when he was living here in New York for nearly a decade. Uh, and certainly, the photographs that we have on display are dated from '83 to '93.、Uh, he really took many, many photographs, up to 10,000 of them, and so we've really distilled them into a selection of 227 of them. And what they do is really capture daily life、uh, of living in the Lower East Side and the East Village, when it was really a, a creative hub. It was where artists, poets,、um, musicians lived together. They also bore witness, of course, to the gentrification of that neighbourhood, and there were many protests at that time, especially around Tompkins Square Park. He also saw Wigstock. He hung out with Allen Ginsberg and, you know, many other poets. So,、um, you know, it was a really important time in terms of New York's cultural history, but it was an important time in terms of the Chinese art community because this was a period in which. Many have described this decade, the 1980s, as being gripped by "leave the country" fever. It was there were, when there was a real artistic exodus、uh, from China, and so many of those uh, leading uh, writers, filmmakers, and visual artists settled here in New York City. And Ai Weiwei's、uh, studio and apartment was something of a magnet and hub for them. 
So some of them include Oscar-winning um, composer Tan Dun for his uh, work on Crouching Tiger, a Hidden Dragon, or the filmmaker Chen Kai Ge, um, and of course artist Chu Bing. So we get a very strong sense of not just uh, New York's East Village as a real, real creative kind of network of people, but also the Chinese community.